let's get in the game. All right. So, the first variation we're going to go over is her ethereal variation. And Steve, I don't know if you've heard this. Don't talk during the intros. People get kind of mad about that. Oh, I watched the stream. I know. At OSU 16-bit if he does. Yeah. Blow him up. For sure. So, you and I... Do not even think it. You're right. You're unworthy. Round one. All right. As there, you'll notice, there is that beauty. She looks amazing in this game. All right. Now, um, for we're gonna go over her common moves for, uh, to start off with. Show, show her move around a little bit. Because okay, her sure. movement's just really elegant. Yes. Um, she. Look, well, we'll get into that. Okay. We got plenty of time. Right. right. So first, uh, her common specials. She has the straight side. She can ex it to do uh, double sides. She has her teleport, and of course she can do her EX teleport. She has her traditional ball roll, and uh, if I can remember how to go, there we go. Uh, and of course she can EX that. That's common across all variations, all right? Um, what's special to this specific variation is the fact that she can teleport. And she can actually uh, disappear for extended period of time. She can go forward, she can go back. So what you can do is do some fun little mix-up combos where you actually set yourself behind the player to do more, uh, more damage. That's so crazy. And it'd also be really good for running away from the opponent, mm -hmm. playing a keep-away game. Or if somebody's trying to just kind of zone you out, you just kind of hold it down and extend it to whenever you want to come back. And she has an EX version of that, which uh, hides her even faster. It's funny because we've played, we played this variation and Ermac has his disappear, so there are moments of time during the game where we just both disappear. Yes, it, it, it's pretty it's pretty trippy. And um, you'll notice her personality is very prevalent in this game as well. She likes to play around with the opponents and stuff like that. So I'm really excited to get to show it off. Absolutely. Um, and for the most part, for Ethereal, that's it. It's all about the setups with these size. Yeah. All right? This is going to be really interesting to see how some of these some people take to this, this variation. Just starting a combo, going behind, going the other direction, always moving around. Right. Probably yeah. the most mobile version, would you it's say? It's definitely the most mobile and probably one of the best for uh, if someone has some good zoning attacks, some good projectile attacks, hiding from that. Mm -hmm. Then I think eventually people will have setups where they end a combo and then teleport directly behind them or maybe right in front of them, mm -hmm. or they don't teleport at all, and that'll be kind of a mix-up. I also like to call it the trolley variation because <laughs> once you got a life lead, you can just keep hiding yourself and getting away from the opponent. So uh, with that said... Should let's go to the next variation. Well, let's why don't you just finish him off real quick? All right. You, you want me to do it? Truly. You do? Mm-hmm. All right. Yeah. Finish him. Girl's got to eat. Yeah, Girl's got to eat. That's it. That's right. That's pretty much it. Let's uh let's check out some of the other ones then. Okay, absolutely. Let's do that. Now I've uh, we, we we talk about variations a lot, mm -hmm. and what we have seen. Go ahead and pick characters real quick here. Uh, is that Melina. Melina's everything is so different, and I've seen you play with each variation, and each variation I have to learn mm -hmm. how to combat that. Yeah. Um. We'll wait until this is done. <laughs> <laughs> You're done, Melina. You betray me too. <laughs> I prefer the winning side. Round one. Fight. What uh what I do really like about Melina too is that her combos are pretty much universal. Except they get a different twist on them, right? So with uh this version of Melina, the Ravenous, she has um bite combos where she actually will bite the jump on them and start to bite them. And you can actually do a button input to extend that bite. Oh, I didn't do it. I missed my window. So you see she does a couple more bites to the guy, right? But in addition to that, she also has uh, some command chain grabs as well. Which you were practicing before the stream. Yeah. And you were doing very well. I was, so we'll see how, <laughs> how I do here. 100% right? success rate. Oh, so, so you can do just the normal one and she'll just roll back, or you can, oops, you can extend it with a side stab, 
or you can do it again and do a kick at the end. So depending upon where you want that placement on screen is how you're going to extend it. Or if you want to do the, the maximum damage, you're going to do all three hits. Right. right, so if you want to kick them into the corner, you could choose to do the final ender. But if you want to keep them mid-screen or maybe swap positions, you can choose to end it too. Right, and so for her other one, which is called the low pounce, uh, she'll actually leapfrog over the player, which we, we suspect a couple people are going to love to do this to their opponent. You finish matches with me with this, yeah. by hopscotching over the, me. Because it's so much fun. It's fun um, for me too, yeah. <laughs> but of course you can extend this one as well. So she'll go into that, break their arms, right? And then she'll roll away. Or you can extend it. Did I do the wrong oh, I did the wrong button. It's all right. We knew this was coming. Or she'll just go ahead and sit on their head. Yeah. <laughs> and cool. just bounce them off the ground. Right? And so she gets the, the additional bite combo. She also gets the, the chain grabs in this variation as well. And you'll notice that she doesn't have the mask, so you can see her pre very pretty face. So th th well, this, would you say, would be a, more of an in-your-face version of, of Melina? Uh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. It's going to be really good for mix-ups. You'll be able to mix up over their 4-3 overhead attack or the low grab. So when you say, uh, just for those who don't play a lot of fighting games, when you say something like mix-up... Mix-up meaning you have to make the opponent guess between which attack you're going to be. Maybe it's an attack that they have to block standing or an attack that they have to block ducking. So right. you're basically going to put them in a position where they have to guess what you want to do. Gotcha. Yeah. All right, so for her last... Variation. My personal favorite is the piercing. I've seen this one a few times. You. This is. Uh, this is the one I usually play. Yep. Yeah. She looks so good. I'm excited that you're able to, to, to uh, talk about Molina today. Today's like my day. I'm right. so excited we get to fight with them. Uh -huh. like, uh, the breakdown. Hopefully, all the Molina players out there will be super happy now that they get to see her. I don't see how they couldn't be yeah. after that. So. Elder Gods, damn you! The Elder Gods reward strength. Then I will have my due. Round beautiful. Awesome. <laughs> and now with her side variation, her piercing variation, um, of course she can still do the air size, but she also has this low split side that she can do too. So you can just kind of zone your opponent out, right? Just be like, I'm having a problem. And you have to block low yes. to get them, yeah. Um, and of course you can EX it, where she'll do an additional side attack too. Um, and also, what's special to this is she has Psy uh, combos as well. And just like the biting one, you can extend this attack so she does additional stats. And then she has this one, which is kind of like a classic MK2 fatality, right? Um, and one more as well. And she'll rip them out. And like we were saying before, you can extend a lot of this, or you can combo in pretty much every moment. Real quick before you before you finish off Kotal, mm -hmm. um, help, help, help Melina get some meter here. Oh, so we can do her x ray. Let's do an x ray. And also, I, I think she has a really cool throw. Oh, yeah. Wow, your Kotal is on point. I've never seen such a good Kotal. So, her x ray. Oh, bam. Take a bite out of crime. We'll go ahead and throw him to the end. Bam. Awesome. Yes. Uh, and I think piercing will be kind of the middle ground where she has improved projectile with a low projectile. And then those side combos are going to be really good and your big damaging combos and really stylish too. Right. Absolutely.